Hey guys, it's Killian, and today I have a little bit of a news and update video for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through each of these bullet points, and uh, I will tell you about them. First order of business. Uh, as of two weeks ago, I think? March. As of March 13th, so as of this month. Uh, Frog Gaming is two years old, I think. Yeah, two years. Two years. Wow, we've been doing for this two years. That's kind of crazy. So, thank you all for staying with us for two years. Oh my god. I know a lot of you, I think it was around the f second year, probably, after Cots 1 came out. Maybe Cots 2. Yeah, uh, guys kind of came around more, but I don't know. There, there's still some people, I think, from the original 50 that are still with us. I, 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 I even talked to some of you guys, and your support is valued. I am glad that we make you guys laugh and you find us entertaining. And here's to another year of smiles and stupidity and friendship. Next on the agenda is Terraria. Yes, I know it's both Terraria, whatever. So, me and Carta from the Chrono Strider slash YouTube slash whatever the hell that URL thingy is for. Uh, started a Terraria series, and it's going to be us, like, playing Terraria, and we're gonna build this rocket, and then we're gonna use it as, like, a transition into this other Terraria-esque game called Edge of Space, and yeah, we're gonna launch the rocket and go into the new game, and it's gonna be kind of a two-sided series where we, you know, play Terraria first, and then once, uh, Edge of Space is done, because it's, it's kind of in a buggy beta right now, we're, we're waiting for... You know the devs to kind of iron out all the kinks and make it playable <laughs> well playable without knowing how to read Greek and yeah then it'll be turning into a new series later on so uh, that oh yeah and that is going to be put up kind of off and on each of our channels so you're going to want to go look at his channel for all of I think the even episodes and then all of the odd episodes go figure are gonna be on the frog gaming channel so, uh, yeah, I'll like those videos and uh, send you guys over there for those. And, yeah, so I hope you guys like it. We're having a ton of fun with it. And on to our next topic. Faith and Theo. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We're on thin ice here. Um, they've been busy. They haven't really been able to do a lot of stuff. Theo in particular. Uh, hopefully, they're going to be starting to come back around a little bit. You know, Faith, I think, has talked about bringing uh, To the Moon back. She's going to finish To the Moon. Theo. Theo and me. Is this another point? No, I didn't put this on the list. Me and Theo tried doing Magicka, but it's just, it's really buggy. And it's just not working. So he tried. He really did try. That was like his one day that he had free. So, um, yeah, those guys hopefully are going to be coming back around. But... Something I do want to remind people, this is still kind of my channel, and my friends come on here. So don't like, where's Faith, where's Theo, where's Superbrabrabra, everybody has to be here, or I'm going to unsubscribe. No, that's that's not what it's about. It's me playing with my friends, and if my friends be busy, you came for the wrong stuff, I'm sorry. So, um, yeah, oh, and King of the Sky 3, if, if it's done before we're all retired and have gray hair, uh, me and Faith will be doing that too, I think. I think she's all for it. I gotta ask her, honestly, but with all likelihood we will be doing it. But no, we do not have like some kind of insider um, access to the release date. Uh, that has come up many times. I think it's slowly dying down. I'm going to probably rekindle the Nerd Rage flame. But uh, we have no idea when it's going to be out. It's like nowhere near done, even the first act. So, moving on. Zan. Zanesh, my brosif is uh, going to be doing something Guild Wars 2 related. I am not going to spoil it. That is a completely different teaser video. I am just hinting that it is going to happen. It is in the works. Actually, I should probably be editing it right now. I, I'm, I might have to go do that right now. Next point of business. For anyone who remembers Project Oof, or OOF, which I like to call Oof because it's funny, is air quote back. For the longest time, we uh, have just been putting videos up without like a air quote series and originally I thought okay we're gonna take away the header to make it more accessible to people but now later on after you know I've had some more experience with you know video, video production, production 
and uh, seeing how people gravitate to videos, it kind of took the individuality away. You know, it's like we took the show away and it was just blah. So, you know, some people might think, oh, well, it, it's just a title, but really it's the title is what makes you click on a video. So if, are you going to watch, uh, you know, Warframe or Warframe Beta or Off the Net Warframe? You know, it's, it's got spice, mwah, spice to it. So, <laughs> oh God, I just made kissing noises with the mic. Um, so yeah, OOF stands for, uh, oh crap, I hope I don't mess this up, it's been a while. Off the Shelf. Off the Shelf is games that are newly released or being sold. So it's like, you know, you know in a store, you know, pulling them off the shelf kind of deal. Uh, on the Net, which is any game that is online probably free to play, MMO, not necessarily MMO, but... It, you know, it's more of an online thing. I don't know where MMOs fall between off the shelf and on the net. Probably more on the net, but it's specifically online stuff. And then F is from the archives. Now, we haven't really done anything like this. The closest we came is our uh, Lost Kingdoms uh, Let's Play, which is a pretty old game. But basically, I think we're, what we're going to use this specific title for is all of the old games that we don't want to do let's plays of. So all of our one-offs are gonna kinda fall in the uh, from the archives title, so uh, there's that. So yeah, I finally get to bust out the old video gaming cabinet. Next topic. Uh, Lost Kingdoms and Celestial Mechanica are almost finished, kind of. I don't actually know, well I, I know the end part of Lost Kingdoms, I don't know. This is the funny thing about games from your childhood, is you remember certain points, but not the in-betweens. Zan has told me that Lost Kingdoms is almost done. Uh, he says as he looks at four episodes that are sitting on his desktop, so it might be... As far as episode-wise, there's probably going to be quite a few more, but as far as, like, hours invested in the game, we're almost done. Same with Mechanica. I'm not exactly sure when it ends, obviously, because I'm playing it blind. But I have been told I am very close to the end. You know, we're in Mechanica. We're gonna go kill the king. I'm really excited about it. You guys are probably excited to see me in pain. So, there's that. In conjunction with that, what... Okay, I shouldn't say what game, because then you're gonna say a whole bunch of games we don't own. We've been thinking of, after Lost Kingdoms, either playing Banjo-Tooie or... Uh, one of two Spyro games we have. Why Banjo-Tooie? Uh, it's a personal preference. I just kind of like Tooie more than the original. Don't hate me. That's going to be a topic for when we actually play it. I want to kind of discuss that with Zan, the, comparing the two games. And Spyro, uh, which ones do we have? We have Ripto's Rage and uh, Year of the Dragon, I, I think. Yeah, so it's number two and number three. And that's going to be a tough choice, too because I really like Ripto's Rage, and I really like Year of the Dragon. So yeah, that, that's kind of the two slash three we're thinking of. So I was wondering, which do you guys prefer, you know? Do you want a Rareware game or a Sony game? Is it Sony, I think. So yeah, you can tell me below in the comments, or, you know, grab a bird and squeak it at me. I mean, tweet at me, you know, Twitter and stuff. And anyway, so thank you guys for listening. We have a whole bunch of videos on the way. Um, yeah, and another year. Oh my god, I almost forgot something. Crap. Uh, <laughs> we're almost to 300 subscribers. Now, most channels, I know we've been around for a while, two years. You think two years, man, you know, there are uh, hundreds of other people that, you know, have bigger channels. You know, they got like 15,000 subscribers after two years. Well, you know... We joined right around when the formula changed, and I know a lot, not a lot of people know what I mean, but YouTube changed how videos get found and stuff, and we kind of came in right as Google was taking over YouTube, so we don't have as much, uh, what's it called? Subjection? I don't think subjection is even a word. We, it's just, we've been having to fight a lot harder to be known, you know, we haven't had, like, you know, a triple-A title that, like, people gravitated to us, so we don't have as many subscribers as some channels, you know, do after two years, but, you know, I'm happy, you get, you guys are my peeps, you know, you're subscribits, I love it, so yeah, we're at, like, 297, 
So if three people could go find their uh, thrice removed cousins and get them to subscribe, that would be great. You know? And we have like 60,000 views to <clears throat> total. So that's another milestone too coming up. So thank you guys for listening. Thank you for all of your support. And we will keep being idiots on the internet. Inter, inter, yeah, internet. We'll keep being idiots on the internet. Thank you, and see you guys next time.